In this series, both Seifert, a proud filthy casual, and myself, MTG Metalhead, a tournament grinder, will be diving into the tomes of Magic's competitive history, exploring the evolution of one of its most popular formats. Each episode, we will delve deeper into the format as new sets and archetypes shake up the meta. Welcome to the History of Modern. Continuing our journey through the top six archetypes from Pro Tour Philadelphia, on this episode, I will be piloting Countercat, while Seifert will be piloting Breach Post. All right, just doing a quick overview for Countercat here. Uh, it's really just an aggro tempo deck. It tries to use a lot of removal spells like Path to Exile and Lightning Helix and Lightning Bolt uh, to be able to either modal, go after your face, or go after the creatures in its way, uh, as well as utility cards like Bant Charm in order to clear the way for its big beef creatures like Knight of the Reliquary or the Noble Hierarchs combined with Solid Prime Mage to give a lot of exalted triggers when you attack alone uh, for your Charmagoys or Wild Nacodles. Um, you can also go over the top with cards like Elswith Knight Errant and um, you also have cards like Green Sun Zenith to be able to tutor up specific things when you need it, like for example Gatic Teak is a really good bullet to tutor for, um, but also you have Dryad Arbor which you can go turn 1 uh, for 0, which is really powerful of course, all kinds of fetch lands to smooth out what you're doing. Uh, in the sideboard you got 3 Avon Mind Sensor, 1 Grim Lava Mancer, another Corsali Pride Mage, Rule of Law to you know, you know, go against the Storm decks, um, you have 3 Flash Freeze, three Unified Will, Tectonic Edge, and two Gideon Jura, trying to be able to pivot based off the type of archetype you're facing, to be able to either be more counter-based, or more tempo-based, or be able to just stop whatever your opponent's trying to do if they're trying to do something kind of degenerate. All right, just doing a quick overview for Breach Post to kind of show a little bit about what this deck's all about. It's a big mana ramp deck is the best way to put it. It tries to abuse the Locust lands like Cloud Post and Glimmer Post or Vesuva copying them to be able to just ramp out mana really quickly. You have a lot of regular ramp too like your Girl Signets as well as Oracle Maldalia, Overgrown Battle, Wall of Roots to help power out your cards early. You can also use Through the Breach to cheat out cards like Emrakul or Primeval Titan. Uh, you have Green Sun Zenith to be able to find what you're looking for. Uh, you also have Eye of you're going to be able to tutor up the Eldrazi in the late part of the game. Also, in the sideboard, have three Chalice of the Void, a Brooding Sarion, if I say that wrong, I'm sorry, a Quasali Pride Mage, two Seal of Primordium, two Dismember, three Punishing Fire, and three Fire Spout. Well, without further ado, my fellow Planeswalkers, it's time to battle. Uh, ready to go if you're ready. Let's go! All right, ready to start. Good luck, good sir. And good luck to you. All right, I will go ahead and ask do you want to do evens? Or evens, odds? two. Evens, two? Yes, evens. Ha-ha! I will the natural one. And for once, that's a good thing. I'm going to need all the help I can get. I will go first. Oh, that is not correct. Hold on. <laughs> is Mulligan going to be down? I did not mean to do that. Um, right. I can't keep this. Me either. Now we'll take an actual Mulligan. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I will keep that one. Um. I'm locking it in. No, I can't. Can't keep you in a Mulligan, too? All right. Okay, I'm good. Are you good on five? I'm good on six. Jeez. Yep. I will start us off with a stomping ground. Tap that for a noble heart. Alright. And I will go ahead and pass the turn. I'm doing kind of the same thing. I'm going to forest and green sun for zero. Go ahead. Go to main one. I will play a planes. And I will green sun for two. Mm-hmm. That is really bad. And 
blast you. That is really bad. I was hoping it was gonna hurt. Is my uh, Kithkin ruining your day? A little bit. Let's see, how can this go? Can't do both, unfortunately. I'll tell you, being, being a control player for most of my magic career, uh, Teak has hurt me a lot, so I understand. I'm going to copy your stomping ground. Alrighty. And to do this, I'm going to put this on it. But didn't do it. There we go. That way right. I know it's ready. And that's it. Go to combat and attack with Teague and trigger Noble Heart and get in for three. Does she have any responses? No. You don't want to block? No. Alright, fair enough. I can take three and I will bruise my hand a bit. Be sad and pass my turn. No. Got two. Little signet. Play Misty Rainforest. Mm -hmm. Pay a life. Gonna crack it. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll get my own stopping grounds. Fair. Uh. That's it. Alright, I am going to Misty crack it. Karn. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. Attack with T. Yep. Trigger the noble. Take three. Alright. I will then pass my turn. Alright. Eventful game so far. I see my T is uh, doing some work. Two, three, four, five, six. Primeval Titan. That is a card that resolves. While you're doing your tar primeval titan things, I'm gonna go ahead and scolding tarn. Get a cloud pose. And a glimmer port. I will only gain one life from the glimmer port. I'm gonna tap. Um, and then I'll play a Misty Range Forest for turn. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I will path to exile the prime time. And I will get a land. Yep. Correct. A basic land tapped. Alright, my turn. Yep. Tap. I keep drawing. Alright, deck. I will play a March Flats. Mm hmm. Go to combat and attack with Teague and trigger Noble Heart. Take three. Um, I will pass. I will crack at the end of turn, crack the mm -hmm. reinforced. Okay, tap. Uh -huh. Six. Primal Titan. Uh huh. I'm gonna go get two glimmer posts. Uh -huh. Oh, which I tapped that wrong, because this taps for you two did. mana. I was about to ask So, that. this would be untapped, because that taps yep. for two. And then I will gain three, six. I'll gain six life. And then... They're tapped, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're tapped. Okay, tap this, and this. Overgrown Battlement. Uh-huh. 
Fast turn. I'm gonna crack my marsh flats. The temple garden. Move to my turn. Trigger, trigger. No blocks. Take four. Take four. Go ahead. Go to combat. Uh huh. Attack you. Yup. Going to get my last glimmer post and a Vesuva. The center's tapped, and I gain one, two, three, four, five. I'll gain ten life because Vizufa's going to copy Glimmer Post. Yep. All right. That, that is a thing that does indeed happen. So, any blocks? Nope. Already took the damage. All right. Well, I'll play this my land for turn and pass. Okay, we will lose life. Crack the air Mesa. This is an exciting game of magic. I will go to combat, attack with T for four. I will block this time. Okay. I will then lightning bolt in Primeval Titan. Okay. And lightning bolt Primeval Titan. Mm hmm. All root. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Exciting magic. Combat. Yep. Attack for four. I'll block my wall root. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Pass. Lock wall root. Uh-huh. Dry Arbor. Yeah. Yep, uh, that's it. <laughs> Pass. I'm gonna crack my uh herd mesa. whole lot for me to really do right now. You got me on a 37 turn clock right now. <laughs> oh my. Combat. Yeah. Attack fatigue. Trigger here. Block a wall. I mean, at least eventually, you know, you're going to get something to just shoot the wall. And... Um, I don't know about that. I seem to only be able to find land. It's something. Shakura Tri-Boulder. Yup. Pass. I will crack my fetch and uh, try to thin my deck. You got it.
That is not a legal target. I have no legal targets to fetch. I said so, we're just sitting here waiting till I draw it. <laughs> Either another Titan. Okay, untap. Okay, draw. That's, that is a magic card. Um, main one. Go to combat. Yeah. Gotta keep triggered. Block with secure tribe order. Yep. Then sack the secure tribe. Cry Boulder. Also, yep. Get a basic. Uh huh. Battlefield tapped. Right? Mm hmm. Yep. And then shuffle my deck. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to play a casual 8 power Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah! Hey, there you go, looky there! Two, three, four, six, 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 double check. Oh, this should have gotten shuffled back in my deck, and I'm silly and did not do that. Yeah, that green sun's here, that does not go to your grave, sir. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. Um, I missed the trigger, however, so that's just going to be there. Uh, we both get a warning for failure to maintain game state. <laughs> And uh, I will pass the turn over to you. All right. Well, it does nothing. I'm going to play another cloud post. I have all the mana ever. That's uh. The... Go ahead. Hold on, sir. Why is it not attacking my stuff? Thank you. Um, I suppose that's a thing. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but that that is that is a thing. Combat. Mm -hmm. Tap with Knight of the Reliquary for 10. Block it with the ba Yeah, the battlement. Battlement goes bye bye. I will play Tectonic Edge. And. Thank God I have two Cloud Ports. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could take you off anything, and I can't. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go after... I'm actually gonna go ahead... Draw something here, Emrakul. That that is a uh, that is a magic card. That is a cast trigger too. Because <laughs> these um, tap for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can tap two cloud posts and one mana, and I have the mana for Emrakul. Um, yep. Resolves. All right. Uh, it does not have haste. Nope. Uh, go to my next turn. Yep. Attack you. I, um, I died. And you really did. Terrible. Day. Well, that was a very uneventful, eventful game. <laughs> um, I really don't know what to say about that one. That one was, uh... <laughs> Uh, I sustained enough to get to my Emrakul and kill you. That, that's all that really happened. Uh, yeah. I mean, 
I got nothing else to say. That that is that is what happened. Okay. Where to even begin with this? hand but I can't oh come on and you did just amber call me cut 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 a cut a fella break no All right. that's fair. I can uh, yeah. all right all right we'll start off with the Aaron Mesa go ahead and put that over here it for Noble Hierarch. Pass the turn. Okay, um... Triad Arbor. Mm-hmm. Pass the turn. No response. Right. And move to my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Um, go to combat. Mm -hmm. Attack for three with the even mind sensor trigger on the noble. Take three. I will pass. Um. Hmm. Mm, indeed. Forest, mm -hmm. and pray to the gods. Green sun for two. I actually have a response. Is there actual counter magic? Counter target red or green spell. Yep, go ahead. Plan B it is. Um, combat attack for three? Three. Yep. Oh, course. God, I hate that card. I hate that card. I hate that card with a burning fish. <laughs> I understand. The card is really mean. Uh, Vazufa, copying your steam vent. That's, that's fair. Oh. No, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't see anything yet. How do I make this go away? What, is that a clone or is that from I deck? tried to clone. I just clicked clone because I thought it was going to do the thing, but it didn't. Just put it in your graveyard, the clone. I'm going to put it in, in exile. Okay, um... That's it! Okay, we 
hit. Um. Which I forgot to do this. Four? Yeah. Play a Termacoif. Mm hmm. For instant sorcery land. And then pass. Fire spell. Now in the yard. Go my dryad. Mm -hmm. Because now there's instant sorcery creature land. Alright, anything else? I'm gonna play my lamp return. I'm gonna copy Glimmer Post. Gain two life. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Combat and get him for four. Yep. I'm at nine. Pass. Oracle Madala. I will. Unified will counter target spell if you control more creatures than the spell's controller. Go ahead. Don't realize how lucky you really are. Uh, getting in for four. Yep. Um, green sun for zero. Mm hmm. Oh, that gets the best time I remember. Deck like a boss. Don't top deck like a boss. Oh, top deck, please. Alright, and that's it. Go ahead. Top deck like a boss. I did it. What'd you do? You got a counter spell, you got a counter spell. Mm, For the breach. Uh, nope. Emrakul. Get you. Uh, you got me. Oh, you! I needed that me. one land. I top deck the land. Yes. Oh. I spaghetti monster Jew. You did. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, that was so brutal. I was one turn away. I was one uh, turn away. I had bolt in my hand. I was going to bolt you and attack for the win and for lethal. I know. I said I had a thought that like a boss. I just needed one lane. And I had Bant Charm in my hand. So if you did summon like a... Like if you somehow top decked a Titan, I could actually answer the damn Titan and still kill you. But I, I couldn't do anything against that. I could not... Do anything with that. That uh, I also made a huge mistake. The turn I played the Termicoy, if I shouldn't have done so, I had this counter spells in my hand. I should have just waited, but I was like, I need to put a faster clock in play than just four damage. And I'm like, if I get this Goyf on the battlefield, I can get him in like two turns. Which was true, but then you got rid of my two lock pieces. So that was just stupid. I got greedy. I shouldn't have played into it. I should have held to counter magic. Because then I would have never let you wipe my board and you would have never been able to pull that off. Uh, yeah, I would. You got me good, sir. That was a good game. 
<laughs> so it was good. So thoughts thoughts on the decks. We'll start with you. What'd you think of the Glimmer Post deck? Like, I love this deck. This is this is the deck. This is right up my alley. It's green. Throw things down. Cheat things in. Ramp. It does everything I like to do. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd like that one. Um, the, the deck is definitely very much uh, up your alley. For those considering, I love Tron. For everyone out there, uh, me and him have been friends for years, and, and I can tell you from experience when we do any kind of cube drafts or uh, commander or anything at all, he, he really likes to play like big mana decks. So anything that's big mana, green Berber, is going to be right up his alley. And that's just... five color and mono green. There is no other. <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I, that is what you usually draft in our Commander Cube. That is somehow you almost always end up with five color. I don't know how it always happens, but it does. They called to me. <laughs> um, though one of the best things ever was still the game that we played where you uh, tried to cheat it in Ember Pool, and you did, and then I stole it and copied it, yep. and then two players cloned it actually, and uh, yeah, that was a fun, scary contest. Yep. Um, but anyway. So yeah, that I, I like the deck a lot too. Definitely really, really powerful. Too powerful for modern. Like that's why the Locust Lands got banned because they're just, it's it's so ridiculous how quickly they just escalate and just allow you to like that one game you tapped three lands to play Emperor. No, like the Cloud Post, I I fully understand why it got banned because that that is insane. <laughs> it is. It is, it's actually a legacy deck to this day. Uh, there's a legacy deck that does that, so it's it is it is a really powerful strategy and uh, really good. And you know we see the uh, the remnants of that even today. You know we look at decks like uh, creativity, and creativity is very much the roots of it. Come from decks like this trying to cheat creatures into play through like through the breach. It's just that now Amber Pools aren't as good, and now you can just play an Archon of Cruelty and just wreck your opponent. So um, it's just fun to look back and see, like, kind of the structures of what we're Yeah, now you can just play the Ultimatum with a fat ass. <laughs> yes. Um, that, that you call a dragon that's that's not a dragon, but, you know. Um, it has bat wings. It also has antlers. Okay, dragons, dragons have horns. Um, I do not believe dragons have antlers. So, uh, antlers or horns? I mean, it's all about perspective. I, <laughs> I suppose. Um, but yeah, I, I like the I like the decks a lot. I'll talk a little bit about mine. Um, yeah, I will say in theory, this deck very much resembles a archetype of what Zoo would later become. Uh, it focuses a lot on pl trying to play big creatures or creatures that get really big really fast with a few disruptive pieces to uh, tempo your opponent out and just try to aggro you out. And um, people don't know this, we played a couple of games before we actually recorded, so that way you can get a better feel for the deck to know what to do because, again, he's not as familiar uh, with these formats as I am. And, uh, yeah, he got to see how powerful it could be, and uh, he also got to see how ridiculous Knight of the Relic War could be. Because uh, that card was really, really good, uh, especially in this deck. I didn't get to showcase a lot of it, but you know, it, I, I think people got to see enough of it, and I just made a blunder that cost me the game. I shouldn't have tapped out when I did, and well, I got wrecked by your field wipe. So that's just how the cookie crumbles. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked the match. Uh, we will be playing Affinity versus, I believe, Ascendancy combo. It is the last round in our cover of the top eight of the first modern pro tour uh, that'll kind of lead us into kind of seeing the first big band list and kind of seeing how everything evolved as the format you know trucks along uh so hope to see you guys there and uh uh you have any final thoughts here seifer uh, i mean uh it's crazy to me uh because i'm used to playing not current day modern but i've played some of the modern uh, for me, like this kind of deck is so enjoyable, but it's it really Tron really did take its place in modern. Yeah, I, I guess because of where the Locust Lens got banned, but yeah, I mean, and I understand, I understand why they're banned, uh, but yeah, 
Uh, no, I enjoyed I enjoyed the deck. I like seeing the other deck too. The Garrick Teague. Ugh. <laughs> it is it is a strong that, magic card. That card was so me because there was the game I had I had two of uh, the breach cards, <laughs> and I could I just looked at my head like, well, we're trying to get Evercool. Hey, we're gonna try to hard cast it. That's all I got. <laughs> um, it paid off. So it, it certainly did. You you Evercool me twice. I tried to come back that first game, like I was clawing my way, but it just. I thought you were gonna get me until until I just drew it. Yeah, you you got me, but uh, good games. Yeah, All good right, until uh, the next one, everybody. See ya.